Uh, today I'll be deriving what the limit of sine x over x approaches, or x over sine x. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's first draw a circle with radius 1. So this will be radius 1. And then let's draw a triangle within the circle so that this hypotenuse here is also a length of 1 because the circle has a radius 1. And then now let's start defining lengths. So from here to here, this has length of cosine of x. Because uh, cosine of x is adjacent over hypotenuse. And this side right here is adjacent to x. Oh yeah, I should have defined the angle first. But this is angle x. This is cosine of x. And hypotenuse is 1, right? And this is adjacent. 1 times cosine of x is just the adjacent. So the adjacent just equals cosine of x. But the same reasoning. This height here is sine of x. And lastly, let's make a secondary triangle. Then what's this height from here to here? Well, the equation of this line has the formula y equal mx plus b because it's a linear line. It hits the y-intercept y is 0 because it passes through 0, 0. So we now know that it's of the form y equal mx, but its slope is rise over run, right? Sine x, its, its slope would be sine x over cos x, or its rise over run would be tan x. So the slope is tan x times x. Now, at x equal 1, the height equals tan x. So this height right here is just tan x. From here to here is tan x, from here to here is sine x, from here to here is cos x. Now we can start the, the proof. All right, so... The, this, the area of this first triangle here with height sine x in, or the smallest triangle in base cos x, this area is just height times base over 2, 1 half bh. And the area of this triangle is going to be smaller than this pi section here. And if we're in radian mode, this pi section should equal to, well, the area of a circle is just pi r squared, right? And this is a section of the pi, so x over 2 pi. And we're in radian mode, so. Then the pi's cancel out, and the r is just 1. So we get x over 2 times 1 squared, and the area will just be x over 2. It's x over 2 pi because um, x over 2 pi represents the portion. 2 pi is a full circle, so if x is in radians, then x over 2 pi would represent the portion of the circle that's being taken into account. And lastly, the area of this final big triangle here with height tan x and base 1 is just tan x over 2. Now, we can multiply 2 to the denominator of everything. So we get sine x cos x is smaller than x. I mean, yeah, and is much is smaller than tan x. And then we divide sine of x by everything. So we get cos x divided by x over sine x divided by, and this is just 1 over cos x, because tan x is sine x over cos x, right? So if you divide this by sine x, you just get 1 over cos x. And as a limit, as x approaches the 0. Well, cos x just equals 1 as x goes to 0. We don't know what x over sine x is, but 1 over cos x also just equals 1 if x equals 0. So we know the limit as x approaches 0 of x over sine of x has to be in between 1 and 1. So we know this to be true. Now, if this is true, then the limit as x approaches 0 sine of x over x must also equal to 1. Because um, we can just rearrange this formula here. We get x equals sine x as a limb x approaches 0, and that 1 equals sine x over x. Now, on to proving the next 